I see that there is a growing attention to the role that media and journalists play in transboundary water conflicts and cooperation. For instance, a few months ago, uh, when negotiations between Ethiopia, Egypt and Sudan over the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam got in a deadlock, the media were among the main indicted. They've been uh, accused of fabricating tensions or reporting uh, distorting information. But on the other side, media and journalists are also targeted by international institutions that uh, aim at supporting them to communicate water issues in a more uh, constructive uh, way. The problem is that all these statements are mostly based on anecdotal evidence. There is little data, information and studies uh, explaining and trying to understand how uh, the role that media play in uh, water conflicts and cooperation. And that's why we want to contribute to fill this gap by studying and analyzing media debates on the Nile in Ethiopia, Egypt and Sudan. We also think that uh, it, it's too easy uh, and not correct uh, to only blame the media and to place all the responsibility over their shoulders. I think as a scientist, as a researcher, we also can make a difference, and, but we need to improve the way uh, we communicate our research. That's why in our project we will organize a training on science communication for uh, water cooperation, targeting journalists and researchers from different Nile Basin countries in order to facilitate uh, their interaction and to support them in joint reporting that are original, innovative and also transboundary.